Well, John, as we all know, in the Fed's attempt to tame this 40-year high inflation, the Fed once again raised interest rates just last month, uh, a full three quarters in order to try and just calm down what's happening, this over 8% inflation. So, and what's that mean to the mortgage rates? Mortgage rates are at their 25-year high, as you just stated. So, obviously, the rates are two and a half times what they were just a year ago. So all those people that bought houses in the last couple of years and got rates down in the low twos, they're loving it. However, what this has done is completely caused a correction within the housing market. We have new housing starts down. We have construction starts down. We have the CPI going down. Everything is pointing towards a recession. And the thing is, is that the Fed just keeps moving those goalposts back, saying that we're not in a recession. We're just trying to you know, calm down this inflation. So interest rates are much higher, which means a much higher payment. But that's not all the bad news. We have some good news on, on here, John, and that is, is that when interest rates go up, People stop buying. And what that means is that we have more inventory. So there's more houses. It's not like the pandemic craziness housing market because there was no inventory. Homes were getting uh, double digit uh, offers on them. And right now there is a, a, a big amount of homes that people can buy. So therefore it is, if you were thinking about achieving that American dream, now may be a good time, John.